story at 6 o'clock. Difficult testimony in the trial of a former police officer accused of abusing children at his wife's daycare in Baltimore County. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to WJZ's All Local News at 6. Just moments ago, a 12-year-old girl wrapped up her testimony in the trial of James Weems Jr., the former Baltimore officer accused of molesting her. The defendant's ex-wife, who owned that daycare where the alleged abuse happened, also took the stand today. And WJZ investigator Mike Helgren in your corner at the circuit courthouse in Towson with what they told a jury today. A warning. Some of the details in this report are disturbing. A little girl who says she was abused by the defendant clutched her teddy bear when she took the witness stand just a short time ago. Her testimony was both halting and heartbreaking, and she left in tears after direct examination. The defense later tried to highlight inconsistencies when they cross-examined her. But we begin with the testimony of Shantari Weems, the ex-wife who was not allowed to tell jurors that she shot her former husband and remains in prison for it. Ms. Weems did something that she felt was worth it to protect those children. So she's been held accountable. Now it's his turn. Tony Garcia represents Shantari Weems. She shot James Weems Jr. when she learned of allegations he'd been abusing children at her daycare, Little Kids Castle. Shantari took the witness stand recounting the day she heard the allegations. I had a lot of questions trying to figure out what was going on. I was overwhelmed, distressed. She says her husband was very calm. He didn't ask any questions. I'm disappointed that she did not go into what happened at the shooting um, because um, I think the jury needs to know why a person that rational, that calm, that, um, you know, focused and reasonable, why would she snap like that? unless something happened. Prosecutors allege Mr. Weems showed pornography to a then 10-year-old girl in the daycare's van, which he regularly drove and later sexually abused the child, telling jurors in their opening statement, while he's waiting to pick up children, he's getting himself in the mood, watching videos of older men like himself having sex with young-looking girls like the victim. You hear teen, child associated with it. It's a lot for a jury to take in. And then when Ms. Weems is asked about it, her first words were, I would never. That's disgusting. That's gross. That's the defendant, seen here leaving court in an open-collared white dress shirt, has declined to comment. But his lead attorney told jurors he denies abusing any children. He was using pornography, and he had sort of an addiction to pornography, and he had some sites on his phone, but never, ever, even one time, did he give the victim his phone and ask her to look at these sites. Is it an so, injustice yeah. that he can, he just walked out of this yeah, courthouse definitely. and she is in shackles? Yeah, yeah, that's the hurtful feeling, like... You know, he's walking around and she's sitting in prison. I'm going to always support my sister no matter what. Mr. Weems plans to testify in his own defense. In your corner in Towson, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Beyond disturbing, Mike, thank you.